Australia's women's team is back together and primed for a massive few months ahead. I think everyone's really raring to go. Our first training session this afternoon at the SCG, so it's a really nice place to start what will be a, a, a pretty big campaign for us. Fans flock to the Sydney Cricket Ground Nets on Australia Day to get a glimpse of the number one ranked side in the world. A tri-series against England and India, an ideal lead-in to the T20 World Cup. I think it gives us a, a great opportunity to come up against um, two very good sides who have been really um, dominant in this format as well. Um, it gives us a, a chance to try a couple of things. Sending a scare through the Aussie camp was a blow to the back of the neck of Ash Gardner. The all-rounder had to leave training early and will be reassessed tomorrow. In more positive news, Aaron Burns' recovery from a knee injury is on track with a likely return to bowling in the coming days. Taylor Vlemic has already taken that step after her knee setback, while Sophie Molyneux turned out for her first national training session since the women's ashes last July. Australia will take on a Cricket Australia 11 at Sydney Showgrounds on Monday night, before setting off for Canberra for the start of the Tri-Series. Oh, look, I think I'd be lying if people, uh, if I said, uh, you know, people aren't thinking about the World Cup and those sorts of things. I'm sure it's on lots of players' minds. And we certainly think these next few games against England and India will be really important in terms of shaping our preparation for, for what's to come. To stay across the Women's Tri-Series, T20 World Cup and more, head to cricket.com.au and the CA Live app.